Is demand for new planes be impacted by lower fuel prices? So could you just repeat the question, please? I was asking whether lower fuel prices has an impact on your business. On the fuel crisis. Uh, the fuel crisis um, has had a positive impact on the customers. The principal cost base of the customers is the is fuel. And the fact that it's fallen so much in, uh, in value has helped the cash flows of the airlines tremendously. And it's also extended the lives of older aircraft. Uh, we lease uh, an airplane every 24 hours, and we've seen a significant uptick in demand for some of the older aircraft that we utilize uh, due to the fall in fuel over the course of the last 6 to 12 months. Angus, how concerned are you still about Russia? Russia is a, in the long term, Russia is a very important market for aviation. It is the biggest country in the world by land mass. Unlike Europe or the United States, there's no alternative for transport, ground-based transportation. So in the long run, Russia will be a huge market for aviation. Of course, over the course of the last, uh, since the, um, the sanctions, there has been a downturn in the Russian market. We ourselves have taken out about 15% of our capacity. It's about 15, 20 airplanes. We uh, took them out of Russian carriers over the uh, Christmas and January period. Now, what we have seen since uh, the start of the year is that the numbers of passengers has rebounded. And the number of passengers traveling now in Russia is more or less at the level it was at last year. So that's the first step in some form of recovery. Yields also have to recover for the Russian airlines. But one of the things that has happened is the ruble has strengthened. That's a key input uh, for the Russian carriers because so much of their revenue is local ruble based and so much of their cost base is dollar denominated. So the strengthening of the ruble has been a key driver of the improved performance over the last few months. But there's still a fair, there's still a ways to go before they get back to where they were a couple of years ago. Angus, this is your first Paris Air Show. How's it looking in terms of leasing aircraft? Is there strong demand? There is strong demand. If we look around the world today, we see particular uh, strength in the U.S. market is leading the world in, in profitability. Um, that's a change, of course, because over the last 20 years, it's been the laggard of profitability. But the benefits of consolidation of the major airlines there have given them an element of pricing power. And there is very strong demand there now for the lease market. Over the course of the last 20 years, it's been Southeast Asia has been a huge driver. But um, with the amount of aircraft going into that market and the depreciating currencies, the demand there has leveled off a bit. Although having said that, China is still a huge market and huge demand. Many people ask, you know, is China slowing down? And of, when you're in the airline business, and in China in particularly, your focus is not on last quarter's GDP or next quarter's GDP. The minimum period they're looking at is five years. So when we lease aircraft to Chinese airlines, we might have an airplane delivering in 2017, then that does, it goes out for 12 years to 2029. So recent movements in GDP have had no impact on the planning for the long term of these airlines. Um, South America, um, obviously Brazil has had some issues recently, but there's still reasonable demand down there. And Europe, surprisingly, Europe has really been a place where we've moved more airplanes than anywhere else. Um, you know, we're moving about 40% of our stock uh, at the moment in the Europe, Middle East, Africa region. Um, so that's basically, a, we're moving one airplane every 48 hours in Europe and one, you know, just uh, about every 20 hours globally. Angus, when the Fed raises rates, will it have an impact on your industry? Could you just repeat the question, sorry? I was asking about the Federal Reserve in the U.S. When it raises rates, does it have an impact on the number of aircrafts that will be leased? Uh, the U.S. carriers? I, I was asking about the Fed, sorry, the, the Federal the Reserve. Question. Yeah, I'm really sorry. The, the, the line is, pr is pretty terrible. Let me try and, and rephrase. Um, there's so much, the cost of debt, right? Once that rises, what impact does it have on your industry? 
Oh, dollar interest rates. Uh, an increase in interest rates, well, in our business, what actually happens is that um, a rising rate environment is generally good news because a rising rate environment corresponds with an uptick in global GDP. Um, now, ironically, a falling rate environment is generally the toughest environment for us because it's generally symptomatic of a fall in global GDP. And if you go back to 2009, when interest rates were at the all-time lows, that was, of course, the most difficult period for us. Um, but our returns on our, uh, on, on our, for, our, for our shareholders, our profitability, was at an all-time high in 2007 when rates were quite high. Now, the reason is that lease rates are a direct correlation uh, of interest rates. And as interest rates rise, lease rates go up with them lockstep. And also, with a rising interest rates, you generally see inflation in asset values. And historically, we have seen a good bit of inflation when we in aircraft values as interest rates rise. So overall, rising interest rates, so long as it's accompanied by uh, a better global GDP environment, that's fine for us.